stuff, yeah, okay, number one, but most importantly, uh, if you are treating wounds for others, okay, so, if you hear from Black Raven Solutions, today we'll go through my uh, setup, basically this setup is good for 365 year living in the outdoors whether it's the wilderness uh, in the forest or you know basically almost any other terrain except the arctic okay let's go through it so uh, sleeping mat i'm not a fan of uh, inflatable maps maybe a nice tip and trick here so you don't need like any special you know binders to bind uh, your mat that will fold together, but you can have a rope Okay, with two nooses That are basically this long So you just take one noose Put it over And the tension will keep it under the knot Okay, it's very easy bind everything so it doesn't get lost uh, when you're okay you know feeling mentally and physically perfect it's no problem when you are in a real survival situation uh, your brain goes boom and you forget things so it's very important that you know when you're not using your knife or your tools you know, just shed them back into your pockets anywhere so you always knew where they are uh, another tip okay so let's go sleeping bag I won't take it off but this one's from Corinthia I believe it's one of the best bags for this money this is a free season bag it has a mosquito net the outer shell material is so good that it can withstand uh, a little bit of rain and all the morning and the evening dew. So for me it's perfect. A little bag here, which can be detached and it's full of uh, paracords or any kind of ropes that fix your tarp if you need it or you know you just need anything. For tarp fixing I have a little hooks which are nice so you know I don't I don't waste time you know just tying knots and everything. And usually here it's a, but now it's empty a, a kit or something to to help me build up fire. Next thing what I have I think it's very great stuff. Uh, it's okay, it's Helicon Tex. They were the first one to do it after many, many, many decades. Swagman Roll. So it's uh, rain resistant. Then you have uh, like an inside sleeping bag, okay, which is good well, basically if it gets real cold. Summer sleeping bag. Uh, you can have a picnic mat camo under quilt. It's very nice uh, camo pattern. Uh, you put it on and you know, just lie down or. Uh, you you gonna say it or I'm gonna say it? Okay, you gonna say it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something like this a little bit bigger you know with everything always when you're buying uh, this kind of pre-prepared uh, first aid kits always open them up you know take out what's what's really bad and replace it with your own stuff like these scissors are really crappy uh, throw them away and put some better scissors inside 
Okay. Next. I have a small, less than liter, but I would recommend at least a liter water bottle, plastic one, because it's light or made out of uh, stainless steel. Uh, this is a thermal bottle because, you know, I, I like to make coffee in the morning or tea and then uh, put it in and have it uh, for the whole day if it's a little bit colder. So then the utility bag. Uh, this is a direct action ghost uh, 35 liter backpack. It's perfect. It was made by the guys that were ex special forces. Uh, they really knew what what they were doing. Come on, please go away. Bother someone else. <laughs> uh, have a little pen. If I write something down. Basically, this setup is uh, for urban or wilderness survival. Okay, so I have everything in now. With the Corona stuff, I always have an extra uh, mask, uh, toilet paper, a little bit packed in the bag so it doesn't get wet. Uh, one or two foraging bags, so I can just pick, you know, all the plants that I need to eat. Uh -huh. Some some different binders that you can easily take. Uh, the inside of the messenger bag, you know, I I readjusted it, so I took the bandolier so I can have it separately as a small bag. I, I leave the big bag here and I just go around you know whether if I'm in the city my little Ruzak which you can put things in otherwise you go around the town you have your well let's see what I have here so uh, safety gloves for protection when you're doing something it's always good. I always travel with a bike, so a pump. So here I have uh, supplements, map, that's master amino acid pattern for fast regeneration, uh, muscle buildup, and just anti-fatigue. I don't know, this is something my wife gave me from Root. They have quite a good products. This is their uh, Zeolite for detox any kind of heavy metals, basically all the crap that humans make. Always condoms for boiling water, one or, one or two liters if you're single, to not get infected with diseases, if you want to have like casual sex or whatever. Okay, yeah, if you want to go in the city, you, know, you need some deodorant. Always nice to have some waterproof little containers, you know, just to put anything in. Uh, you can. Yeah, we're here, we're not going anywhere. So better get used to it. <laughs> Gloves. Multi Multi-purpose. Corona stuff, yeah. Okay, number one. But most importantly, uh, if you are treating wounds for others, not to infect them when you're poking around a fresh wound, I'll just put the gloves on it's going to be fine or if you're picking up some highly toxic stuff like toxic plants uh, or toxic mushrooms you know just to you know show show to people that okay this is how it looks from underneath always use this yeah okay so you, you wouldn't see this video if you didn't have data bank and connectors and everything must be nicely placed. This is the main reusable washable mask. Always have this. You know, basic toiletries. Don't, 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 you know, just don't take shampoo or any kind of that crap with you. Uh, just get a little bit of soap. Just basic Marseille soap. This is all that you need for a month of washing up and cleaning yourself up. Even the hair. Even uh, even.
even shaving can be done with so one razor you don't need gillette or some crap you know just, just have a good two or three blade one time usable and you can use it 10 15 times um, sawing kit that's always nice because you need to repair your equipment okay it's not a must but i have you know nail clippers so it can be presentable oh i'm doing jujitsu and we cannot claw the guys out uh, um, some little duct tape always nice if you're patching up a uh, tarp or anything like that and yeah extra bandage and a little bit of uh, tape toothbrush toothpaste so this is it basically <laughs> Next, tarp, use a sturdy tarp, you know, I always like to have a camo pattern so I can conceal myself if I don't want to be seen. Uh, this is, you know, this is all that you need, so it's uh, one meter, 175 times And when we're going to set it up, you will see that if you put it diagonally, this is all that you need for a nice hammock. Okay, one good knife. I use uh, Mora knife. Well, Mora Knew, it's a very good company, Swedish. This is ABS hand saw for prunes uh, sawing. It's Japanese stuff, ABS, one of the best saws that I ever used. It's the foldable ones. I mean, Japanese make great tools. You know, they're great craftsmen. In the small compartment, another foraging bag. Okay, now we're going inside. Oh, I have a radio here. Do anybody uh, remember Fallout? Do anybody Fallout? Okay, so the civilization is still afoot. And yeah, basically, you know. We can go back. USB key, one or two, perfect. Have that. Next. Wow, I forgot. It's a, a little beer. <laughs> uh, okay, this is something that I never take with me unless I'm uh, filming something or I have. I have uh, trainees or people coming to my camp, so just uh, nice. If it can, if it can be solar, then it's even better. So it's rechargeable with a lamp. Uh, you cannot always uh, make fire. Maybe you are in a time trouble, or here we are in protected area where fire is forbidden. What you can do, you know, I just have a, a little bit of camping gas, uh, camping stove, and you're good to go. Always trash bags, you know, multi-purpose, multi-use. Uh, you can make poncho out of a couple of them and a little bit of duct tape. If you if you have uh, if you have wet shoes.
Mushrooms, but you know, I need a little bit more protein sometimes, so I have some extra lentils here or you know, anything else. Lentils is great, it's full of protein, extra, and it's easy to cook, fast to cook, uh, doesn't take a lot of space. Next, uh, I have a bow drill kit, everything nicely packed inside, and that's it. And towel, uh, which can be also used as a sitting mat, you know, just to cover yourself uh, during the evening when it gets a little colder. And to be presentable when I go to, I don't know, some more public place, I put the, the swimsuit on, a uh, fire stick. Oh, okay, this is. This is a leftover, another mask. And basically this is everything that you need. Okay, nothing else. I have tactical pants. You can put pants inside. I have uh, one lamp. These are small lamps uh, for, the, for the bike. But also, you know, you don't need a big lamp uh, most of the time. Because it's only, only four to five days more three to four days per month that there is no moon okay so there's no shine from the moon and it's really really dark or when it's really cloudy but otherwise if it's uh, if it's a nice night with a little bit of moon a quarter or more then it's enough uh, enough lighting uh, to really see without the lamp okay you just go into the woods you just wait for 15 minutes and your eyesight will adjust okay 15 minutes that's it and you don't need anything so the the red one is great because you can just you know, if you're really in a secluded space and you really try to stealth camp uh, then in the night usually you can get lost and don't find your your uh, your sleeping place you just mark it like this from one direction that you need to come a little bit of red light and you get a, a waypoint okay to where your camp is okay and then a little bit more equipment so like a bag so this is the lamp that i use it's a clip-on it has a magnet so it stays if i put it somewhere where there's for me the headlamp is also perfect, but this one, this one, I think is better. A little bit of utensils, cash, and you know, chargers, and that kind of stuff. That's it. This is everything you need. Then you just go to the city if you need to buy some food, some pasta, or some grains, oatmeal to make porridge, hazelnuts, or any kind of nuts. A little bit of coconut oil so you don't need to kill animals for fat I'm vegan uh, I, ju I just do foraging it's enough you know. from, from plant-based diet I get everything I will show you that in the next video no problem okay uh, this is it for the equipment leave leave the comments you know what do you think what's your equipment and you know subscribe hit the notification bell and you know the drill that's it black raven solutions builders academy i'm micha uh, the lead instructor and founder so uh, join me in the next episodes uh, we'll get uh, some more coverage on how to spend the outdoors uh, you know more peacefully safely and warmly peace